Good day everyone, welcome to the show. My name is Nichols, and today I'm going to talk about the idea of there's these tapestries of life. Now there are many ways of looking at life and, and how that fits in. We have this interesting paradox that we have these mortal lives where every moment is precious, but we're aware that there's this greater structure, this void of darkness of information, where our lives gel somehow with other lives and with eternity. One way I think of looking at this is our lives for a tapestry. And what I mean by that is when you really dig deep into the core of who you are, in the silence of your mind, just in those moments of reflection, when you sit there for a long period of time without distraction, you begin to realize there are these very, very strong intentions in your life, things that you must do that really transcend pain or pleasure or anything else. And for me, obviously, part of that is the connection with the internet and the idea that maybe I should share my information with everybody else. That's one of the the, the sort of core elements of my life, and it's kind of one of the flavors of this thread in the tapestry of all our lives together. So the way I make sense of the fact that I'm a mortal and I'm a human, and there are seven billion of entities that are similar to me but not exactly me, is that I can see them as like a three-dimensional tapestry. So each one is this individual thread. It gets woven with other threads, and these threads gets woven together. For instance, Paul Kilanathi, who wrote the book When Breath Becomes Air. I really feel like because he finished the book and then obviously he passed away, that I'm basically picking up one of those threads and I'm kind of drawing through and continuing that journey that began, I guess, either the dawn of the universe or at least the dawn of the beginnings of, of modern humans. I'm really taking that knowledge thread or whatever this intention is that I was kind of born with or I, or I evolved in some way in the tribe. I'm really taking that thread of intention and, and carrying it through. So what one way of looking at it is that we have all these lives that thread together, even our opposition, even our opponents, even even our enemies, we seem to have this this beautiful thread together. And if you wanted to have, you know, literally or figurative a god like you, what you would see is billions of human lives in this this grand tapestry tied together by culture, by the rules of society, by machine technology. And I don't really distinguish culture from technology. I think it's one and the same thing. In the same way that drugs are a technology but they're a technology by plants. So they're still a very high technology, even natural drugs, but they're technology by plants. Same with things like culture, customs, laws. These are the things that influence a person. These is, this is one of the things that a human interacts with on a deep personal level, this external force that is human-made. So I call this a technology in some sense. And even in some sense, yeah, I'm not sure where I'm going with that, but the point, the basic point is, is that there are these technologies that draw, these, draw these threads together, and I think that's a reasonable way of looking at it. So when you look at your own life, the whole idea has become this beautiful thread in the tapestry and contribute to the greater whole. And as David Goggins might say, the way you do that is in the quietness of your mind. You see these things, you try some things out, but you're really committed to your personal journey, to your personal journey of personal challenge and personal self-improvement. I say this almost every time, but it's so important because at the end of the day, there are things that life is predicated on, things that life is based on. As Sam Harris might say, it's about the present moment. And it is about the present moment. And as Jocko Willink might say, it's about that self-improvement. It's about getting up every day and fighting your battle, your war, which ostensibly is against yourself, although it feels like it's against the external world. That's how you make your tapestry of your thread. And of course, you assist others and you help others and share the lessons that you've learned. And that's how you bind the threads together in our grand civilization. Now, I'm as ignorant as you are about these things. I was born from the darkness, from the void, and the void I shall return. I don't have any special clues about it, but all I have is the fact that I seem to have an intentionality in my life that heads to a certain direction. I don't call whatever that means. I don't call whatever that force by any particular name. I don't call it the name of a God. I don't call it anything at all. I simply am observing it and describing it in the terms that are simplest and that I understand. And of course, this video is my attempt to try and draw these threads together. It's my understanding that the, my greatest fear in this world is not to die, but to die with the lessons lost. That whatever suffering and pain I went through, whatever knowledge I learned in my journey, whatever th lessons I learned that others could benefit from, that that is lost forever. As they say in, in Blade Runner, washed away like tears in the rain. That is my greatest fear. And this is my, really my my desire to circumvent that fear so that whatever lesson I learn in my life, 
you have them now. You have them to do with them what you will. And you go forth as a human, as a soul, as whatever it is, whatever aspect that we share, you go forth and use those lessons for your benefit and for the benefit of the world. All right. Well, thanks for listening. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.